Hi, everyone. And it's good to be back with you for our time of For All Ages. And so I'd like to invite the young or the young at heart to come a little closer to the screen. Today, I'm talking you, to you from uh, near a bridge, which is at a walking path near my house. And it has to do with what we're exploring today in worship, covenants. And do you remember how earlier in the month we learned that covenants are sacred promises we make to each other about how we'll be together? And that since Unitarian Universalism doesn't have a unifying creed or belief system, it's our covenants which bind us together in community. And what if I told you that covenants are like bridges? The theme this month is cultivating relationships. Our faith places relationships and our promises to each other of how we will be together in community at the center of our faith. And since we're human, sometimes we break those promises and hurt other people. And when we do this, walls come up between us. It happens between family members, between friends, between members of the community, and even between people who don't know each other. It's part of being human to make mistakes and break promises to each other, whether we meant to or not. And so when this happens, we need to dig deep and rebuild those relationships. We need to learn from our mistakes and try to do better in the future. And so now our bridge. So first, let me ask, what does a bridge do? Did you say connect two points? Yes, it does. So how is a bridge different from a road or a path? If you said a bridge helps you overcome obstacles in your way, you are exactly right. And here is what the bridge behind me in the video really looks like. So without this bridge, I'd have to do lots of climbing and my shoes would get all wet and muddy and full of little grass blades. I don't even think I'd want to try to cross this creek if the bridge weren't here. And so covenants are like bridges. They're like them because not only do they connect the two sides, but they provide a way back over obstacles. Obstacles like hurt feelings and misunderstandings. And they show us a way to mend our mistakes. In, a word, in its wording, a covenant can show us how to come back into right relationship with other people. In our religious education classes, many of our covenants list ouch, oops, and educate as part of how we will be together. Ouch means that a person who's hurt, that the person who is hurt talks about their hurt and their feelings and don't let them fester and get worse. Oops is for the person who caused the hurt. It asks them to fix the relationship and admit to their mistakes and apologize. And they promise to educate themselves, that is to learn from their mistakes and do better in the future. And I know apologies are hard. Sometimes we don't mean to hurt other people uh, because what we said or we did that hurt somebody else was done out of ignorance or was just a mistake. And our society doesn't value apologies because many people think apologies make you look weak. Have you ever been told, oh, you're too sensitive or your skin is too thin? I bet you have, but I'm here to tell you that apologies do not make you weak and are actually essential to having good and healthy relationships. And as we apologize, and even more, when we show others that we've learned from our mistakes, those walls we talked about that came up between us because of uh, hurt feelings, those begin to come down. Instead of there being a wall separating us, our apologies become a bridge. And our covenant is the blueprint to show us the way. <laughs>